time to process apples into applesauce. Uh, this is one of the first things we're doing with apples. Um, I like to have a mix of apples, so I've got some yellow, I've got some red, um, some tart, some, some sweet. And so what I'm going to do now is move them through from uh, picked state into applesauce. And the way I do that is I weigh out, um, I'm going to weigh out about 20, 23, 24 pounds. quarter them. I'm not going to peel them or core them. I'm just going to toss them right in the pot with a little uh, water. And then I'm going to cook them down. And as they cook down, they break down. And once they're broken down, then I'm going to run them through a food mill. And the food mill just takes out the cores and the peels, spits them out. I feed all that to the chickens. They love it. Um, and then all the applesauce uh, gets put back in the pot. I might add a little honey. We'll see how sweet it is. If it's, if it's palatable alone, I won't add any honey. Um, and then I'll put it into seven quart jars. Okay, now comes the real test. Come here. Our local taste tester will give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let's see. What's the verdict? Mm. More? More? Okay. It's good. Oh. More? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. This is the last one. Want a little more? You're done. Okay. Kind man. Nope. No more. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for your services. And then a little tablespoon or a little teaspoon of, of lemon on top. And then we can them and it's good to go. Uh, it's real easy, uh, real quick. And we'll get to save a lot of these apples for the winter. It's hot out. It's about 90 degrees out. In here, at the top it's only 100, but down here it's got to be 130, 140 degrees. So what's happening is the black mesh in there heats up and pushes air upwards uh, as it heats, right, through convection. So it pulls colder air in underneath, heats it up, and then it gets to the top and it runs all the way up into this box. And then um, it runs through all these racks holding about, a, well it was a pound of apples each. Most of that's water weight, probably three quarters of it. And so what I'm doing now is I'm just going through and having a check. I find a, a thicker piece, still got a bit of juice in it. So I'm gonna let it go a little longer. And I just rotate through every hour or so. Make sure I rotate these screens, check on them, maybe turn them over. Not really necessary for apples. Um, they dry pretty uniformly. Whether or not I turn them over, tomatoes is more important. And this is probably how I put up half of our apples. Maybe not half, but quite a lot of them. Uh, not half counting cider. It's now later in the afternoon. The sun has gone behind the trees, so we're not going to get any more power out of this. Almost done. I'm going to have to pop them out again tomorrow, but they're pretty close. Maybe another hour would have done it, but ran out of time. I have 10 pounds of apples in here. It does five in a day for sure yesterday, but just couldn't do 10. That was too much for the, the sun we had today. They are pretty good. I should mention, you shouldn't eat too many apples, dehydrated apples, on an empty stomach and without a lot of water. Last year I was actually hospitalized because I ate about a quart of dried apples, which is about, I don't know, four or five pounds of raw apples. Um, so they rehydrated in my stomach and blocked up my intestinal tract. And I, was, <laughs> I had to be hospitalized. So 
don't eat too many of them on an empty stomach when you're dehydrated, which is exactly what I did, which was exactly wrong. Make sure you only treat them as a snack and uh, make sure you're drinking lots of water. So there's that. I still love these things.